Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another show. I'm Sid, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this effect, which is just a very simple beard overlay. It's a little bit difficult to see exactly because I have a beard ish. So if I just remove it, you can see what I got, <laughs> what I'm working with, and I add it back in, you can see is that. Probably works better on a female face or just a clean shaven person. But yeah, let's get right into it. We'll open up a new project, minimize that other one, and for now we won't be doing anything in here, I'm going to be opening up our photo editing software, I'm using GIMP but Photoshop works just as well, so does anything really that has these features, so yeah, open up your GIMP file, uh, grab your reference assets from the Spark AR reference assets pack. Uh, links to this as well as the software that I'm using will be in the description below, so don't worry too bad. Oh, look, tattoos. <laughs> yeah, so now we've got this. Let's zoom in a little. Now I'm just going to do this quickly because uh, like I'm not super uh, like I'm not super bothered, but let's say here. So basically what I'm doing here is sort of just clipping this area out where we want our beard to go with the free select tool. It's going to look a little rough, but at least this way I can get the job done quite quickly. Uh, if you want to take more time to draw your own beards or sort of any facial features, they will obviously come out <laughs> like a lot better than mine do. Oh no. Just mess around a little bit. Sorry, I've not really spoken or said anything or explained what I'm doing. I'm a little distracted. <laughs> Hold on. I'm rewrite with you. Okay, so that's rough, but it'll do. Now, if I... Uh, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here. If I come over here to our select tool with paint, our paintbrush, you can see here's a bunch of like... Whatever the hell that is. And this one, which is like bubbles or cells or something. The one I was using in the other video was actually this, just made a lot thinner. Nope, my bad, it's this one, this grainy ass one. See that? So yeah, this is what we're going to be using. Although, that looks kind of cool. <laughs> what the hell is that? Sorry, I'm getting really out of off, off topic here. Okay, so let's reduce the size of this. And, and also go back to the one we need. We'll pull this up to a hundred. This tutorial is already a little bit rubbish, but you know, I hope I'm helping in some way. So basically, yeah, you just want to draw your beard. Maybe pick a different color. I don't know. Oh, and uh, add a layer too. <laughs> add a new layer. Otherwise, your beard will be stuck to that face, and you don't want that. So, <laughs> add a new layer. I don't know why I forgot to mention that. Also, sorry if the sound is a little bit rough for this video. So, I guess we'll find a brown. Okay. 
So now let's just draw over what we got really quickly. As you can see, it erases the lines as you go. There's no way of going outside. So more or less what we're looking for is just a very quick fill. Obviously, if you're taking more time to do this, then you might even want to avoid the lips because it kind of looks like I have like a sway sasula situation going on with my beard up top. This is going to be patchy and rubbish. So I might even blend it a little bit afterwards. To be fair, I'm learning GIMP as I go, just so that I can learn Spark AR. I'm not great at drawing, so you know, it's all about improving over time, and just getting better as you practice. But yeah, uh, I appreciate anyone who might be watching this video, maybe who made it to this far, just watching me draw a beard in GIMP like a <laughs> like a noob. Okay. So very quickly I'm just going to blur some of that, just to give you a sense of what it can look like. Uh, we'll even make that a little bit bigger. No, we will keep it the way it is. With the Honestly, I reckon that'll probably do. Like, I'll add a little bit of darker up here just so that you can see it. So if I make this transparent, oh, there's the patches. We get rid of a couple of our bigger patches, and then we just avoid the lips. I really enjoyed making these tutorials. It's kind of fun because even though a lot of them are the same, it's just basic PNG overlays. Like, it's nice to know that there are people out there who want that information, and just being able to give it to them is pretty cool. Okay, that's going to do. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hide that layer, make sure that's hidden, and then export our file as a PNG. I'm going to go to the desktop, I'm going to call it facebeard.png. So now that we have that, just export it, no changes. Now that we have that, it's very rough, like I say, but you know, take your time, figure it out, and you could probably draw a much better beard than I have, <laughs> even in real life. So yeah, now we're back in our Spark AR Studio. You wanna create a face mesh in your, inside the face tracker of your project file, and then add a material layer, like so. Set it to be physically based, because it is a beard and then choose your texture, which in this case is face beard. And there you go. It's nicely tracked onto this dude's face. This woman looks a bit strange, but that's probably only because it's patchy. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we can maybe we can adjust the uh, opacity a little, like bring it down maybe to sixty. And then if you come in here, you can adjust the color too. So you can change, you can have a red beard or a blue beard. So if we come here and we make it lead, we'll bring the opacity on that down a little. Yeah, now it's kind of, it's closer to what I was thinking. So if I pull it over to my face cam, okay, we'll have to bring it up slightly, but yeah, so there you go, basic beard. Obviously this one's not even as good as the previous one that I made, it's very thin. So you can see right through to the skin, which is not great. And the more, uh, the less opaque you make it, the more, sorry, the more opaque you make it, the... But you get the gist, and a little bit of blur and a little bit of blending, some time and effort. You'll be able to make something just like this, <laughs> oh, or better, <laughs> or this. See, this one's kind of, kind of alright. I rock with this a little bit. But anyway, this has been another video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope that you learned something, or I managed to teach you something. Uh, even though I can't draw, 
the simplest of beards. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Bye.